Okay. From what you have known so far, the mushrooms wanted to kill the queen. Mm-hmm. Uh, separating the queen from the staff is indeed a way of weakening her. But they didn't really see that she could be redeemed. Obviously, if she, if she could be fungled, let's say, this would be a massive advantage for the fungoid people. But now that they are very religious, they are not going to do it that aggressively anymore. Oh, that's kind of good. Okay, so... Mushrooms want to kill the queen to enter here. Yes, but the community of the mushrooms wanted, was, just wanted to kill the queen because the queen was attacking them. The queen, but you can guess that the intentions as to why they were acting, the reasons as to why they were acting so aggressively, was because of Atal and Okwil. That obviously a corrupted, um, a corrupted or, or you know a fungoid plant queen would be a massive boost to one of them or both. Mm-hmm. So the mushrooms were corrupted by Atal and Aquil, right? You said the mushrooms were guided; they were not corrupted. Oh, okay, were guided. Okay. But then they split from the queen. Because the queen the queen started attacking everyone, even the mushrooms. Oh. So, so the mushrooms started to hide. And perhaps in that moment, uh, in one of those moments, Atl or Okwil appeared. It's not in the records, because there are no records of Atl or Okwil in the, mm. in the Mushroom Right. Because the Queen attacks everything that is not specifically a plant. And they were very wary of, them, of the Mushrooms, because killing Mushrooms is really hard for plants. Without yeah. the help of no fire. some animals. Okay. So, so this is what you know regarding the, the mushrooms and the queen. Uh, obviously, you can ask more from, uh, from Cremini. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, if you wanted something more, more, much more specific, he, he might be able to, to answer or consult the library on that. But this is the, the gist of, of what... Uh, this is kind of the the gist of of that. Mm-hmm. Regarding the queen, you know that the staff seems uh, semi sentient, her staff, and that she is incredibly attached to it. There were some plans of just separating the the queen from that i think that you that you made some or that miru made some i'm not entirely uh Mm -hmm. sure uh she is attached in she's attached in an emotional sense not not in a physical sense Uh, Mm -hmm. 
you don't really know. You are right in, in saying that the staff is at the center of the mystery. Uh, you don't really know if the staff corrupted her or also healed her. She she worded both. Uh, well, she didn't word both. It was she said that the that the staff was necessary for her. Uh, that that she couldn't part with it for too long. But at some point, I believe it was uh, Miru, or maybe it was Mist, who cast some some rejuvenation or or some healing uh, thing on the queen, and the queen started uh, almost melting away and and uh, and bleeding from her pores. This black ooze. Ooh. So there, there is the risk of some real corruption that, that has happened. And part of the source of that ooze was tracked indeed to the staff. Yeah. Uh, when she was healed, she bled something. She was in pain. Yes. Mm -hmm. That almost immediately makes me think that she's undead. Mm, nothing of Mist's divine sense indicated anything undead. But I'm not sure if he used it too extensively when, when in touch with her. Yeah, so we need to do some detective grunt work. If we want to resolve this peacefully. Uh, questions okay. anymore? Um, Any other questions? Ah, you asked about uh, Melora's absence? Ah, uh, yeah, the queen got the way that she is because she was tired of doing the same job without hearing any word of thanks from Melora. So. She definitely knows of Melora, uh, and she knows that she relates to Melora. But there is also a, a deep. Uh, hatred of Melora, and she will. She doesn't just want to answer basically what Melora is. Uh, answer and obey Melora after she has been absent from this place, or at least from contact with her for an incredible amount of time. But we don't know why they are not connected anymore. Uh, was the staff given to her by Melora? Uh, that's not clear. So, Justin thinks, or David thinks, it would be important for us to find out which point in time she turned away from Melora and if it correlates with the time she got the staff. What do you guys think? Maybe I'm writing. What, so what again? Uh, Queen turning away from Melora. Same place and time she got the staff. Is that a question? Mm -hmm. We need to find out. Because okay. if it does, then I'm David is uh, pretty sure that we need to get rid of the staff. Uh, I mean, we can try at least. Or we have to find out like where does she have it from? Who gave it to her and why? 
could be important. Also, yes. Maybe even before destroying the staff. Yeah. That's something for next session, I guess. Yeah, we can talk about when we play, even play, one shot play. Mm, I'm sorry. Oh, we were just thinking about if we play next week. Ah, this uh, has to go at nine, and I have also have to go at forty-five. Mm. Uh, so Klatu soonest can play again on the ninth of January. Mm -hmm. Question is if we play on the second. I vote no because it's the holidays. People deserve to, to take time off with their families without having to miss the game. I mean, Sense I know, I know, I know. We all want to play, but I'm really against yeah. it if we're going to be missing people between now and the ninth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. We could try, like Oraba was suggesting, perhaps some one shot or something like that. Yeah, go for but it. But nothing that would be the the core uh, plot of this, especially if you're actually going to try the whole thing with the queen. It's it's important that everyone is here so that everyone talks about this, and uh, and is aware of it. I have another uh, game running this in in the same world, basically in the new world, and they just need. We attempt at level like nine to steal the staff of the queen, uh, and are and we're kind of fooled to hand it over to the spider queen, and now they're going to die by the spider queen's hand. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. I'm so confused about what to do. I, I've just kind of given up, and I'm letting everyone else make decisions. I have no clue what to do. It's a mystery, Jeff. Come mm. on. You can solve it. <laughs> well, apparently I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I am so lost with this whole thing. Um, but earliest we could reconvene would be then the ninth for this main campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, And um, yeah, I, I then then I make advertisement for a one shot that I would maybe host in between the holidays. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll make something up. I'll yeah. see what my 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 schedule fits, and I invite everyone, but no one needs to feel pressure to come. And then uh, it might happen or it might not happen. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm also going to go now because then I can get ready a little bit more chill. Do you have the stats for the Necromancer's um, staff? Oh, oh dear. God, I do not. Aha, so you have extra time for that. Uh -huh. I'm okay. really sorry. No worries, uh, I, mate. This, this last week was very difficult. My mother, uh, she had to do a very difficult surgery and... No. No oh. worries, mate. It's not to pressure you. Ah. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm well, sorry. I, I was, I was, I, ah, because of the identify, right? Yeah. Because I was thinking, like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll reveal it when Klaatu binds himself to it, but, but you have identify, so yeah. Okay. All right. So. You all, you have all of these questions regarding the regarding the queen. What have you accomplished in regard to the queen, in the regards of helping the queen, uh, in the mushroom place, the mushroom colony? Well, a we... lot. 
You think? So? Yeah. yeah. You well, think? they were potentially enemies, so at least we quilled that kind of danger for her. At the same time, we made them reconvert to Mel uh, Melora, That's which it. should be beneficial because even though they are not technically plants, they are important for an ecosystem. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Especially this fantasy setting. Uh, so that helped, yeah. Just, just wanted to see if you guys were aware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of why you were doing this. We've done her a great favor. And hoping this will help. Mm -hmm. Which is something she wanted from us, if I remember right. Well, she wanted you to get rid of the fungoids. No. Oh, yeah. Makes sense now that she wanted that. Well, I think at time it made sense too. So just me, Chris got really lost. <laughs> well, okay. But really, then, really, you are going. You are going for the peaceful route in mm. this place. So, I think it's instead of way. killing her to favor, instead of killing the fungoids to favor the queen, you got rid of the bad influences. Let's say. In the in the mushroom kingdom, in the mushroom in the mushroom colony, and now are just and and actually got them to believe in the ecosystem, like and of not just turning everything into fungus and no, okay, corrupting the whole world. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. I I wasn't uh, I didn't know that we accomplished that. Guys, come on! <laughs> oh, I, I totally missed the part that they were saying, oh, I see now, we are an ecosystem and we have to um, live together. I, sorry. <laughs> well, they, they believe in what Mist taught them about Melora, and Melora is all about ecosystems and... Uh, okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. And all that. All right, nice. So they, they, yes. they, I, I agree they might not have stated this explicitly. Yeah, that's no. all right. That's just me. That's but they will try to have a good influence on the queen now instead of a bad influence. So yeah. that might help ease some of this weird psychic um, condition she's had. She has going for herself. Might be a late puberty for plants. I mean, she is definitely in a rebellious phase. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Teenage years. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so where exactly do you want to go this session? Mm, I, I guess the session is almost over. <laughs> like, uh, Niklas preferably would, would get ready to leave at quarter to nine, and then at nine, Chris needs to leave as well. Yeah. Uh, so I, I guess for this session, we, we, we can plan. This. We can plan what we uh, want to do next session. Oh God, I'm so sorry, guys. That, that's <laughs> Don't be it's, 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 it's fine. Okay. That's totally fine. Yes. I did the exact same thing last week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you're not the DM. I mean, the game can go on without you. But don't don't. Not if you press. guys are doing any kind of combat, it can't. <laughs> uh, when we're stuck in combat it can't that's true because this party is doomed without a healer uh, you're so reckless what's that you... what was that Chris we we are so reckless uh, and oh, I don't yeah. know, I don't how know how that. Doing it without a healer I don't know I just don't get it yeah um the world is very uh, dangerous, that's all. Jest, Jestin still feels like the only party we still need to speak to um, is the Duchess. Okay. And and then, like, that's Jestin's opinion. Like, we have talked to the spiders, the hive, the queen, but we still need to reconvene with the Duchess to be like, okay, what's the situation? What do you think? Um, and then we, we, we may have Oraba suck up to the queen more. And uh, do some detective grunt work on the mystery of the staff, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh, right. and otherwise, it's Justin's plan to have the five army war. I think we also right. need to um, confirm the the hive are normally just bees, right? But they got, in any case, corrupted or guided by devils now. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? They do have. Uh, yes, their emissary that was sent to you was a succubus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can connect that there's perhaps devilish or fiendish shenanigans going on. It was it was a was a was with wasp. the influence of a succubus, right? It was a succubus. It was a succubus that turned into a wasp-looking female. Okay. And she, I believe she tried to seduce, I'm not sure if it was Klaatu yeah. or Orba. Yes, both. <laughs> I think both. Perhaps both, yeah. I'm sure with Klaatu. Orba, I'm not so sure. It was this weird buzzing thing. I think both of you failed, and then Justin had to negotiate with her to get rid of this malice. Yeah, could be. There must be a session with that, actually. I think yeah, that one of the first good. sessions... There yeah. definitely was a a charm that they did. Yes. 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 And I really think that was the first session we um, recorded. I would check on that. No. no. Yeah. All right. So plans then for the next one which one will you go because the spider queen and spider forest is still very much hostile to you yeah but that's fine obviously you can go there and try to clean it out but as a player i want to kill all the spiders or uh, yeah as a player i want to kill all the spiders Okay. But we can still have the five army war. Because I, I just really don't like spiders. They need to die. <laughs> Violently with fire. I mean, every time we fly over them, we just drop fireballs. So that's just satisfactory, <laughs> isn't it? You're just carpet bombing their, their civilization. <laughs> like, every time we've been there, we've caused so much damage. But that's fine. <laughs> Well, last time we were there, they fucking deserved it. No, yeah, well, last time they, they gave us a measly, wicked present in form of a little spider. Klaatu. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and also very terrifying. <laughs> and you say this other party is going to die at the spider's hands now? Yeah. Because probably. they brought the staff to there to them? Yes. Oh, shit. Did the spider seduce them or cast a spell on them? No, they just they just noticed that the queen was getting corrupted with the staff. So they stole the staff. It was like a ridiculously lucky play from them. And then they decided to go to the spiders. They thought that the spiders were allies. And the spiders were like, oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're all friendly, so... Give us ah. the staff, keep it safe, and what? and now that they've gotten there, the spiders were like, "Psych, we're gonna kill you now." No witnesses. Oh God! Oh poor, poor players. How how did they get that the spiders are good? Well, they must have acted good, right? Mm -hmm. First time they met them, they've been nice. Yeah. Instead of trying to kill each other. Mm -hmm. And perhaps we are just lucky that we have such a great uh, spider hater among our party. <laughs> Looking at you. Yeah, I'm, keep in I mind. Mean, I didn't know that I had accidentally created everything that uh, that Mist had that Jeff hates with snakes, wasps, and spiders. Yeah. Well, I don't have so much a problem with snakes or wasps. I just hate spiders. And keep in mind that is player, not character. Mm -hmm. That is why um, Mist has been relatively 
unfazed by the spiders. I mean, some of that comes through, guys. I'm sorry, it's just not possible for me to roleplay that well. <laughs> I'm not an actor. <laughs> That's but fine. I, I, I'm doing what I can to to stifle my, my hatred and roleplay as a open-minded cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I find this totally reasonable. Well, you you you're definitely channeling that hatred uh, towards the the snakes. To, towards the Yankee, so... definitely. <laughs> and keep in mind that is character, not player. Yeah, yes, I'm just I'm just still surprised when you want to just burn and like the the entirety of their country. Just sack all of it. <laughs> yes, I am. I mean, that is my character. Yes, of course. I mean, I wonder how the others will react when the very peaceful healing mist is going to want to go on a rampage, <laughs> killing women and children and all that stuff. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> well, they have seen Please. him go nuts after Yanti already. <laughs> Yes. Does that make you an oathbreaker? Is Melora going to let you return every child and uh, elderly Yuanti to the earth? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if I'll kill children or not. Because it's balance, you know? If you kill over what is needed, the Yuantis, there's a lot of them and they are a bad influence for everyone, yeah, but if I don't think you can eradicate them. <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to leave. All right. See you know. Have a good one. See you. Have a good, have a good latest holiday. on the line. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'll react towards innocence, but definitely mm. anything that. Basically, anything that has a weapon or starts casting spells is dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one second, guys. I gotta take this call. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we know that the staff is the thing that corrupts the queen. Yes. Because the mm. other party found out for us. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Talk about meta knowledge. <laughs> Really? I can't believe he just said that. But I had to ask. Ah, oh, goddamn. That's, that's, hey, you know. Yeah. Well, well, let's be honest. I was the impression staff was good, so. Yeah, but after he, he quickened up my memory that the queen was healed and she bled Black Ica. Yeah. I was yeah. like, all right, no, 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 yeah, we got she... something wrong. Yes, yes. And I then. Don't... I think he just trusts us, and player knowledge is not... Um... No, I think he confused himself and then us. To be honest, I feel like my memory of this is the same as Jeff's, that there has been a lot of yes and no. Like, the staff was given by Melora. I'm pretty sure he said that some stage, and now he said no, maybe not. I'm like 100% certain he said that at one point. Yeah, I, I think he's confused himself okay. and us because this is all like new world adventure. It's not written. It's not a paid campaign for him. So yeah. I, I don't mind it, but I think he confused himself on this. Oh, yeah. And that's why it's a mystery. <laughs> Still a good way to play around it, but I'm pretty sure I remembered that. Yeah. There's something in my memory too with that, but. I'm also not the great memory guy. Nah, and we, we didn't write journals, so yes. I guess we have to work on the assumption that this it's... is what we know. Yeah, the journal part is something. It really takes a lot of time to do it. I'm yes, it actually... does. Yeah, that's... I, I love that we record it. Oh, it's that's when I... Find, I I that, skipped that. that, that journal, the last. journal shit is oh my god. Yeah. I tried doing that, guys. I'm I'm sorry. I just I couldn't no. put in the time. 
No, no that... don't worry about it. None of us could. <laughs> yeah. I tried it too, and it takes so much time. I mean, and... there is a way to do it more efficiently, but you have to learn how to do it, and that is writing while it happens, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but I so, found that I missed, missed too much of the story that way because I was too busy writing shit. Yeah. 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 That's why I th it's a skill. You need to learn it. That's why I said it. You need to be able to write at the same time the stuff that is important for the recap or for the journal and at the same time role play. Funny thing, at the table I can do this, but in front of the PC, I don't know why, but perhaps it's the typing I can't get it right. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same for me. If, if I'm playing on the table with people, I can do it at the same time as well because there's breaks and everything. But here, it, it somehow it isn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, even in the computer, I take notes by uh, in in a in a little writing pad, because yeah. in the little book, basically. Because yeah, and the thing about translating that book into like a summary for you guys is just that it's it's a hassle then to write what like what yeah, you, you rather give it verbally should know, what you should not know, and uh, and and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. And one thing, uh, I get really confused because normally I write in German, of course, but for this campaign, I'm, I skip through German and English and my brain gets confused so much because I don't know all the vocabulary and stuff. And I mix. Your English has gotten so much better than when you started, Chris. Oh, thanks. I have to say, like two years ago, yeah. you, you, you struggled a lot more with the words. Oh, thanks. And, and uh, it, actually, the structure, and... gendering, endings. Mm. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Mm. So, yeah, where but... are you going next? Uh, next session, then. What What is the the general plan? I think mm. it touches the queen get more informations well okay. i i think that's all an in-character thing like next time we start we're still in the in the chambers yeah but um, still... we're going to look at the staff and then we're going to discuss in character but i guess it's going to be either duchess outpost queen or Oakville. i don't okay. think but yeah because yeah, that's that not a huge to... range I, I am I'm just afraid that you guys are going to jump and fight Okwheel and that's gonna entangle you in the uh Yuanti Empire. Yeah and then you just forget about the plant queen. Yeah, that's something I don't want. I don't want to open up another chapter, actually. That's why I would postpone Okwheel for time being. So that you're not gonna be able to rebuild his phylactery. In a, in in a in a re, in a short time span, it might take him more than a year to do that. So yes. this does give you time. <laughs> yeah, which was also part of the plan. Like we can leave Oquil and have his enemies uh, get the better of him in the political Yuanti kingdom. Yeah, but I think, yeah. but I think Justin will still bring it up and be like, "Hey, there's this threat out there. What do yeah, you yeah. guys want to do about it?" Plato um, will do something about it too, so no worries about that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's there can that's be Jastin's just one necromancer in this town, <laughs> <laughs> and this is a friendly neighborhood. Plato necromancer. That's this is true. A friendly crew. You definitely are the friendly neighborhood version of a necromancer. Yeah, I really want to play that. Look, they're tending to my bees. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have flesh. It's a perfect, perfect yeah. opportunity for you. The bees oh, don't Marvin sting. Look, Marvin over there stood too long next to them, so they built their hive into his ribcage. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> now you can move with him. Yeah. That's a nice concept for a monster, actually. Mm -hmm. Like what? a skeletal, a skeleton with a with a swarm of something inside of it. I will just do it. Like a swarm of insects in D and D does do does something. So that's a fun thing. 
Well, you don't know anything about the hive. Yeah. So, and the hive is the one that mo that will most likely use swarms. Obviously, the spider uh, queen will use swarms of little spiders, but the wasps are more aggressive mm -hmm. types of swarms. Yeah, I think of the mo mosquito type things. Perhaps. Nice. No, oh, I think it's a fun monster idea. Mm -hmm. A skeleton yeah. that is within five feet of a person also makes the swarm come out. Mm -hmm. A little stronger skeleton. I mean, Clato could also be more inventive with this. Yes. Uh, he could he could uh, create a zombie that who, who, whose insides are just filled with Oroba's bombs and just throw that guy, Kamikaze, into a, an enemy. Yeah, Cloud is really not the warfare guy. <laughs> He's just so fucking lazy, and I kind of like it. What shall I say? What shall I say? <laughs> Although that is not beneficial for an adventuring group. No, no, it is. But well, he is a very good uh, ATV. I think. Mm -hmm. Good for What's an ATV? All-terrain vehicle. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes. He's he put himself damage. <laughs> yeah. He's a survivalist without the proficiency in survival. We he have a lot of utilities in our group. That's true. Yeah, I mean, survival was was definitely uh, Miru's thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Oh, Klato, do you want to test also the new uh, bodies, or maybe we'll do that also next session? Oh, I think next session. Okay, all right. The other bodies are already finished. I, don't they need more time? Well, I won't argue about it. Uh, yeah, they would need a, they would need a little bit more time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're you're right. You're right. They would need they would need about a week, uh, a week to ten days. I think that's the. That's what it says to to properly form up. Oh, in the and... clone spell, it's hundred and twenty days. Yeah, that that's thing why... you you said reduce it by half or something because you're using these yeah. blood right. chambers. Oh, right. Okay, okay, so it's potions. sixty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sixty days then. Mm -hmm. Uh, Clato, you better count them. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Okay yeah. then. All right. So again, sorry for this uh, miss uh, of mine. Uh, <sighs> don't don't worry. Um, well, I was late to suggest oh, maybe to play again this week, but uh, I guess it will be the ninth. Mm, yeah, I mean, we can try to talk about this week, but I don't think can anyone do it this week again. Well, I'm sick at home, so I can do tomorrow and the day after, Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. I definitely cannot do <sighs> tomorrow. Uh, no, don't worry but... about it. Niklas is gone as well, and it's the week before Christmas. Okay. I think All it's right. too much okay. of a hassle to try and do it again this week. But yeah. we, will, we will meet again at the 9th for this mm -hmm. campaign. Yeah. And I will send out invite to a one-shot or a short campaign. Um, between the time. Okay. All right then. Okay. All right, guys. Have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all. Yeah, yeah. you too. Same to you. And see Same you guys you. Uh, in the in the new year. Yeah, I wish you all the well and your mother too. Same, same, same. Um, Let's all be healthy. Yeah. Yes. I hope you recover well, David. Was yeah. it COVID or something like oh, that? Oh, it was it? it was terrible, my man. <laughs> I had like a high fever, mm. which made me hallucinate. Oh, um, wow. on wow. Friday night, like uh, I was I was uh, listening to an audio book, and my feeling was that it was too fast, <laughs> and it was stressing me so much that I had to put it out. But when mm -hmm. I tried to put it out on my smartphone, when I put my finger there, it didn't work. It didn't stop.
and then I started crying, and my girlfriend had to come and help me to turn it off. Oh, God. Then I think I asked for the cat like thousands of times, even though the cat was there or it wasn't, and I knew oh, uh, I didn't lay right. I don't know. And then I, I puked some some a few times. I couldn't eat. Uh, and now I have like the the liquid shits and uh, mm. the 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 system. Like I'm dizzy, but uh, way better than Friday and Saturday. Your body is quitting. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, but like I was I was sick for a long time, mate. So I just kept working and working because I thought other people were sick, and that that's what I get now. <laughs> I didn't take the time when I should have, and now I have to take the time when I normally can't because my aunt was there this weekend. I missed her. I have to do stuff for the um, for work. Still, <laughs> you know, now everything gets pushed behind, and then there's holidays. So I, I guess I'll just throw it. <laughs> yeah. And next time I listen to my body sooner. Yeah. Right. I guess we all yeah, have to yeah. thank your girlfriend for taking care of you. Yes. Yeah, she Pretty does. Diff- thank you, David's yeah. girlfriend. I went to the thank doctor. You. I went to the doctor alone today, and she almost uh, reprimanded me for it. <laughs> it's like, why would you go alone? What if you fall down because you're dizzy? Yeah. I was like, people will help me. I just yell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... No, no, I would be like, you over there, come here! <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. If you just, yeah, if you cry for help, nobody helps. That's the first yeah. thing you learn. You need to yeah. command people. Immediately do the, the very German approach. No, it's, <laughs> the, it's the emergency thing you do. When there's an emergency, you don't wait for people to ask who's going to call the ambulance. You're going to say, you, call the ambulance, now! Yeah, and yeah, yeah. If I lie down there because I fell down dizzy, I'm not going to ask for help because, of course, they want to help me. But they don't know if I just yell help. They don't know what to do. So I yell what they need to do. Come here! Mm-hmm. Which I really, it worked for me better than yelling help in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Especially as a man. Okay. Yeah, my tip for you in life. People just don't know what to do when you yell help. Yeah, they come, but then they don't do shit. I hope I will never come to this situation, but when, I hope I remembered. Mm-hmm. I had right. my, my father once. We, we had a, a small car accident. Nothing really serious. Uh, but my father was calling the the police say that oh, okay we have a we have an accident here and all that stuff and the policeman responded really brusquely like like what do you mean what uh, what happened uh, but but not in like a caring way of like mm. yeah and my father and the guy just started yelling at each other it was <laughs> it turned like into a completely unprofessional thing whilst we <laughs> did have basically what happened was my my younger brother was in a really heavy discussion with my father whilst in the car, and he decided to, while near the the walkway, basically, open the the car doors and leave the car. But exactly when that happened, uh, a, a motorcycle guy just slammed right into the door. Oh. And uh, it was technically the guy's fault because he shouldn't be like passing from the right, but still uh and the and 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 at the middle of this i just hear my father yelling into the thing (laughs) and the guy supposedly yelling back (laughs) what the hell is going on (laughs) here (laughs) whilst like people just stopped created a circle to watch no one actually helped the guy um, actually stand up and just wanted to witness this and it was just the strangest thing oh god that's a sad thing to watch. Oh man, uh, fucking humans, right? Yeah. Fucking circles. <laughs> and that's what yeah. happens on Mondays before you go to D and D games. I, I. Can't. <laughs> yeah, and I've, I. What I, a I, tough I job. A, a guy in a bicycle. He he stopped, 
uh, and and I told him, oh, you can just go around the car and 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 everything, you know, trying to help the the trying to help make it so that there's not a traffic jam, as mm. there usually is with people watching. And the guy was like, no, 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 I'm here to watch. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> And the man, the man, I think he like cracked his part, what part of like a bone in his hands, and at some point started screaming in pain. And the guy was just there; he was there for like an hour, just wow. watching, and then just started trying to talk to us, comment on the situation. It was like, what? This is <laughs> exactly what we, we what we need right now. Get this man a microphone; he has a comment to make. Yeah, it's like. We're dealing with other stuff right now. We're dealing yeah. with other stuff. And Do you know this? this... Yeah. It, it was chips because we called an ambulance for the guy that was hurt. And the ambulance just did not come. And what happened was there was another ambulance that was passing by. And one of us just stood in front of the ambulance and was like, we need help to, for this guy because no ambulance is coming. Yeah. And only then like the, the people inside were like, ah. Fine, I guess. <laughs> Let's hope he has insurance. Oh my god. Uh... Yeah. It was so, so strange. So strange. <laughs> oh god, okay. All right. All right, okay. guys. So we will meet each other then on the on the seventh. Ninth. The seventh. Ninth. Right? Ninth. Ninth. Okay. The ninth. The ninth. Okay. The ninth, and uh, yeah. If you have any other questions regarding the game, uh, I will I will create the 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 staff and and all of its stats and such. Oh, nice. uh, but if you have any other questions, uh, anything that is also not clear, mm. um, like with some of these questions, because obviously I can yeah. answer to you something like you don't know. But if if a, if a question comes up, I'll I'll do my best to answer it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think in those two weeks break and, uh, time. It's better, David. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. mate. But I, I think in those two weeks break time, you will hear from me again, um, regarding Justin and the souls reconvening. I think that's something I can just write you how I, or you can write me back, so it doesn't eat up on playing time. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Don't feel obligated to answer. <laughs> But I'm I'm available. I have holidays. We can role play. I don't care, and I think I will do that. You know the the five souls in, inside the canopic edge where I'm like I I'll I'll see you again after you've thought about what I said to you. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. Alrighty. Uh, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Again, if I don't have the time, I will just not answer. Yeah, so... fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. What is the name of your girlfriend, uh, David, so that we can just call to her without saying David's girlfriend? Or would you rather it oh, stay Beza. as David's girlfriend? Oh, her name is Beza. Beza? Beza. 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 They're all thankful for you. That's why we keep saying your name. <laughs> Everyone that says is, thanks is that, that you take that care normal, of me. Is that a normal German name? Uh, it's a Turkish name. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. It means uh, holy. Ah, all right. Well, seems you have a healer then with you. My little angel. We. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I wish you well. Have a nice holiday. Okay. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. Bye, bye. Bye.